I went, I went to Interscope, I had went to Def Jam, I had went to Atlantic, I had went to 300, and I posted it, and then he saw it on my Instagram, and was like, nephew, like, let me know what you what you trying to do. I see you doing your run. Make sure that they give you what you want. He was like, what you want? And I was like, well, everything I'm telling them I want, they're like, that's a little too much. He was like, put it in paper, give it to me. And that's what he did. And I, I still, to this day, got a good relationship with Bird. So you telling me he put everything, everything you put on paper that you want? Yeah, I probably should have put more. You. Yeah, I, I didn't it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Say that loud because most people be saying he don't be doing right. I got nothing to do with that. No, but I'm just saying yeah. he did you right. Bird did me right, yeah. Wow. And he did me even more right because he gave me what I wanted. I was able to give four other people opportunities, like two of them didn't they had no crib, never had wow. a dollar. Yeah, I gave four people 50 grand that never had more than 10 grand ever in their life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, so I, I just... Uh, I, I got to ask you about uh, signing the uh, cash money, which I don't think was a bad idea. But just let me know how did you how did you even get into uh, understanding who they were and even knew. Oh, I mean, you know, I, you know, how did you even know? Oh, because everybody was talking. They said, "Don't sign. They gonna take your money." Yeah, I don't give a damn about that. But I'm that just shit. telling you how they gonna come. I mean, but but I mean, I, you I don't sure know. about this? I'm I'm, I'm gonna hmm. tell you why because I look at it like this. Somebody, a nigga, always got something to say. Like, if you can hear a story good or bad, it's going to go one way or the other. Two, I looked at it like, you know how you might be from the hood? Like, you might be cool with the, the junkie that be outside the store. Like, bro, if somebody tell me how he got there and I hear just that, I'm going to think just what they told me. But every time I come out here, hey, what's up, young blood? He might ask for a cigarette, a beer, something to drink, something to eat. Nigga always cool to me. Take care, young blood. Be safe out there. He don't give me no problems, but something wrong with him. Same way I'm outside with the niggas that sell dope. We nigga don't rob nigga. That, that, that's my man's though, but he got he got locked up. He did five years for armed robbery. Came out he different now. But let the motherfucker that he robbed tell me the story. That's what I'm gonna think. So a bird when I met him myself and I was just watching him. Where'd he, you meet him at? I met Bird. I, they took me down to um my man Travis Peterson who used to manage me a little bit. Took you down to the what's that? He from D.C. He brought me down to Miami, Miami at the, to hit, the factory. hit factory. I knew you were about to say yeah that. the hit factory <laughs> introduced me to Bird. He was up there at hit factory. Um put me in a room with him and we had just got cool. I, I was, he wanted me to just cut some records. I was already over there because Timberland did a writing camp. So I was already at F Head Factory and met Bird there. I came back and I said, you know, I'm gonna come back out. And we flew, we did a record. I, I cut a record called It's oh, Calm. That's that um, guy over there. I was about to tell him. Whoever's out there, down. keep your fucking voice outside. down. But um, he can go outside. I cut a record called It's Calm. Bird wanted to put a verse on there. We worked, I pinned a drink for him and then we ended up going um to New York with GT Films. He was saying- What year was this? I'm gonna say 2017. Okay. I'm gonna say 2017. So and, him, and, um, him and Lil Wayne wasn't really rocking nope. at that time. Mm -mm. Like Wayne was literally a couple right. rooms down. Yeah, like, doing this not thing. Not even talk. I saw them in the same parking lot. Not even talking. Of course. Like, it was. It was. It was kind of awkward. I bet. But um, they did it the other night for real uh, in front of the crowd. They oh, didn't come out of the crowd. Stage they, they, they have their moments, but, yeah. but you you stay out but of that. But then you that's, see that's them. Their, yeah. so I just had a yeah, oh, cause, cause, cause then they're piece it up. That. You know what I mean? They're they're piece of up. No, they family. When that shit was going down. I watched him in the same park. I, I watched Wayne go go this the shit when he was at his peak of being angry about it, and they was literally in the same area, parking lot. Not like talk. if it was really a problem, they could have just addressed it. But they, they just were. didn't talk to each other. Yeah, so but I stayed out of that. But um, bro, we went to New York, shot the It's Calm video. We got the juice. Just don't know who cup I'm a part of. I'm vibing with someone, daughter. Keep in mind, at this time we had, we did no business. We was just connecting. And I was just watching how he moved. He was giving me game without no paperwork. He ended up doing a deal with me because at that time, I was just about to say, I'm done doing independent shit. I'm going to take a risk. And I was posting the label run that I went on. I had went to Interscope. I had went to Def Jam. I had went to Atlantic. I had went to 300. And I posted it. And then he saw it on my Instagram and was like, nephew, like, let me know what you what you trying to do. I see you doing your run. Make sure that they give you what you want. He was like, what you want? And I was like, well, everything I'm telling them I want, they're like, that's a little too much. He was like, put it in paper, give it to me. And that's what he did. And I, I still, to this day, got a good relationship with Bird. So you telling me he put everything, everything you put on paper that you wanted? Yeah, I probably should have put more. You. Yeah, I, he I gave didn't. it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Say that loud, because most people be saying he don't be doing right. I ain't got nothing to do with that. No, but I'm just saying, yeah. he did you right. Bird did me right, yeah. Wow. And he did me even more right, because he gave me what I wanted. I was able to give four other people opportunities, like two of them didn't they had no crib, never had wow. a dollar. Yeah, I gave four people 50 grand that never had more than 10 grand ever in their life. Four young kids that was producing. So I was able to give them all 50 grand. He didn't, he didn't even know who the f it was. He gave me the money. 
You know what I mean? It, it, it was like a little period where like we did the deal and it took a little couple, like a week or two to get the bread. But I had text Bird one time and I was like, yo, big homie, what we doing? He said, you know, my nephew, my bad. I'm going to go get it myself. And next thing you know, that wire was there, right hand to God. And when I was trying to get out my deal, he got on the phone with me and worked it out with me to get out as well. With and, him, get out with Cash Money. Yeah, mm-hmm. He, he had even changed his number when me and Money, Money Man were trying to get out our deal. Rest in peace, his man CeeLo that passed away had a heart attack yeah. at a young age. Um, he put me back in touch with Bird because Bird changed his number when everybody was getting out their deal. Yeah. And was like, nephew, it ain't gonna be easy, but uh, let's let's put it in paper, get you on the, on an email with Ed, just give me back what I gave you. We won that 300,000 back, I said, bet. You know, he was like, if you could put 100,000 down, you could put your music back out and just pay me in installments. And I was like, bet. And then, let me tell you how real this That's nigga hard. is. Let me tell you how real Bird is. I got down to like, this is a true story, E. I got down to like a hundred and some thousand, right? Left to owe him, right? I, I said, Bird, I got 60 for you right now. I know I owe you this hundred, but I can give you this 60 right now if you just let me out. He said, man, let's do it. He said, tell he the lawyer, oh, right hand to God, bro, ask him. Went there, I said, hey, Bird agreed to say, he had Bird, said, let's confirm with Bird. Why the 60? I was out. Damn, they say 40,000 just because he ain't give a fuck. He was nah, just showing he, love, like and, just being and, a real and, nigga. And he loved the you fact that you, you came back. The he way, loved that, like though. a real dude. He, he 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 knew that though. Like Bird see me every time I came to Miami. I never flew. I drove. I drove my i8. I had a chrome i8. Looked like a f-ing shining fork. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, I had a sprinter. Like that nigga knew. He was like, "There's something different about this nigga." He knew me and Money Man really had not his type of money, but he knew like nigga, we ain't just quit Popeyes, nigga. Nah, yeah. nigga, we got we got something the way we knew, knew how to get it. And I was we, moving and we, right. He knew that though, I, and I think he respected that about me. He gave me a lot of game that I would have paid double that money for, and and I still appreciate that process. Like I never have nothing bad to say about. If I DM Bird right now, he gonna hit me. Yo nephew, how you, you good? Like he gonna say talk to me. You know what I mean? So I always, I always respect that. You know what I'm saying? What about, so you say you and Money Man, y'all left about the same time. Yeah, so we signed about the same, I signed before Money Man. And left Money about Man. the same time. Yeah, because cause I was in the room when he met Money Man. He whispered in my ear and asked me what I thought about Money Man. What'd you my, tell him? That's that nigga for real. That nigga getting a bag. Because me and Money Man was already like this. We already had six, seven songs at Akon Studio. So we was already like this. I already know how, the shit he rapping about, he's yeah. dead serious. Like, if you in Atlanta, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm telling Bird, like, Bird, that shit he talking about. He, he's dead ass. And this nigga could do that shit off the top of his head. He like, for real, nephew? I said, hell yeah. He said, this nigga hard. A couple days later, Money Man like, man, I just finished my deal. I was like, bet, nigga. Let's that go. Nigga rocking it, hold you. Know what I'm saying? All this song beat about the same, and but that, that nigga gonna rock it. It don't matter. That nigga, Every yeah, song beat sound about hard. the same. Yeah. same. Yeah. I buy a bell and give it to the team. I find my rock or if I'm green. She say you're the fresh nigga I've seen. Yup, yup, and that shit bad. <laughs> I put her in diamond because she's the finest. I put her in rig and she holding my blick. And on G Wagon, they sit like a tom. Money man hard as a mother. <laughs> I like Money Man, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm Money saying? Man gonna keep rapping, nigga. My nephew played that shit so much, I was mad. Like, he a good hell? dude. <laughs> Something that niggas don't know about Money Man, though, he a big listener. Yeah, he, he, listen. he, he used to call me a lot and be and ask me a thousand questions, to, and, and out of nowhere, it stopped. Cause, Cause that's what he do. He 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 gonna learn. He gonna find the loopholes and man, this shit got damn kind of difficult, man. Kid, man, help me out. Like I'll give him the game and he'll never ask me again. Really? Yeah. He was like, he would be kid. in the other room rapping. Hey, kid, I need a hook on this motherfucker, man. I can't figure it out, man. Let me know when you're done. He'll leave for hours. I knock that bitch out. He'll come back, you know, cause he had a song. One of his first biggest songs was trying me before all yeah, the big shit yeah. went. And he, that, he talking about me on the hook. They wanna fuck with the kid like I'm Billy. They wanna fuck with the kid like I'm Sire. She wanna fuck with the kid like I'm Billy. She wanna fuck with the kid like I'm Sire. That's him. That's him. That, he talking about me. <laughs> he Damn, about me. so. Yeah. Yeah, the, the nigga was. It's a nigga that live up the street from here named Lil Rock T. Okay. That's who were producing a lot of his stuff. Mm, mm. Lil Rock T, a little white looking kid. Mm. Yeah, he, 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 the nigga, remember I had, uh, what was I had, what was I, I was a uh, unique hustle. He said, that's unique hustle right there. Mm. He stopped, he was working at this dollar store. Mm. And he stopped the line, want to take pictures with him. This four balls talk. I said, this nigga think I'm famous. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Me, he stopped the whole line and just, Real. yeah, I'm like, shit. He's like, man, my brother ain't going to believe I met you. <laughs> That's said, crazy. Shit, this is crazy. Yeah. That's how they do it. Mm-hmm. Nah, for sure. Ever since then, it's been up. Nah, for sure. <laughs> nah, for sure. Salute to that, bitch. Salute to that. Ever since then, it's been up. You got a, you got a good star quality man. about yourself, though. Oh, yeah. Like, like, no, no, you got a lot of, I, and, and I, I see this because I've seen a lot of people come and go. Okay. You got to. And you probably already know this, no, but it's like a lot, of, a lot of people. A lot of people have like certain it factors. Your shit is your shit is instant. 
Really? Yeah. It's like it's like the moment I walked up to the car, it was like I understand that. Like you 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 give me that energy. Like you that motherfucker. Like if I went to a neighborhood, I'm gonna remember this nigga. Like every oh, time yeah. I come back, I gotta chop it up with him. Oh yeah. Whether yeah, it's yeah. my hood or another nigga, you got that aura about you. It, so it, it's a star quality about you. Yeah, like, it's well, just I appreciate it's like, it, man. You, you, know, you can feel that shit, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been in them rooms. I've been shit. in them rooms with some major though. niggas. I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna call their name, but yeah. I got toes, my nigga. Nah, yeah. I can tell. <laughs> nah, nah, I can tell, though. Everybody walking up to me, I'm like, who you? I'm like, nigga, I'm that nigga, but yeah, I ain't telling who I was. You got that You got that energy about you, though. Thank you, man. No, I'm just a regular old boy that just love to have a good time. And that's how this show came about, right? No, for sure. So ever since we... Huh? Just cutting up. Having a good time. Time. Yeah, that's nah, what sure. it's all about. For sure, for sure. I tell and I tell everybody, even all of my people, Carlos and everybody, it's like hanging mm -hmm. under the tree. You know, I don't look at this in no pocket. I look at it like hanging out. Yeah, we shoot so, the breeze. Yeah, it, it, it ain't talking. the same yeah. when you look at it. Like nigga got a questionnaire. He and it be yeah. reading that whole nigga yeah. serious. Nah, yeah. man, it's not like that with yeah. me. Yeah, life too short, my dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.